Stratomatic's advanced baseball game was revolutionary when it entered the baseball sim market back in 1972. It left its main competitor, APA, scrambling for a solution. But were there mistakes in Stratomatic's original formula? Well, according to at least one man, there were. Robert Henry is a name familiar to anybody in the APA world. Now, Robert Henry passed away in 2006. In the years before his passing, he spent some time posting on the APA Between the Lines Delphi forum. Now, Henry was not an ordinary gamer. He was a brilliant man with a photographic memory, and he collected copies of everything that APA and Stratomatic published. And I mean everything. He was probably best known for his questions and answers section on the back page of the old APA journal. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I personally never really cared for those articles. I mean, I was always more interested in the stories, especially the replay stories, than in trivia questions, you know, like which pitcher had the most consecutive seasons with an XY strikeout rating. Anyway, back in 2004, Henry engaged in a fascinating conversation about the history of Stratomatic's formula. Okay, this stuff is hidden, and it's hidden on an app of form. The posts are over 20 years old now, I can't believe I'm saying that. And the original poster is deceased. He died almost 20 years ago. This is obscure, and yet I would consider this to be of general interest. That's the reason why I made this video. I thought it'd be interesting to bring some of these points out. But be warned in advance, I am not an expert on the Stratomatic Baseball formula. All I'm doing here is repeating and reporting what Henry said. I'm interested to know what you, the expert, may think about this. Okay, here goes. In one post, Henry claims that the original Stratomatic 1963 cards for Lou Brock and Jim Gilliam were incorrect. According to Henry, these two players were likely to hit up to 20 points higher than they did in real life. Of course, I don't own the original Stratomatic 1963 season. I'd love to. Somebody else who has that will have to look into this and uh, let me know what it is you see. There's also a claim here that Sal Bando and Joe Rudy both of the 1974 Oakland Athletics, received the same number of home run chances on their Strat cards. This is a problem. While both hit 22 home runs in real life, Rudy had about 40 more plate appearances than Bando. Robert Henry here is insinuating that the old Stratomatic computer formula, I'm talking about the one from the 70s, contained an error in how walks were taken account of in the hit calculation. In other words, there were certain aspects of the batter cards, mostly hits, that were constructed based on a formula that accounted for at-bats and not plate appearances. There's another claim here that Strat changed its formula for calculating the advanced side of its cards in the mid or late 1970s. Henry further claims that Hal Richmond didn't actually have access to the full lefty-righty splits stats during the 1970s. Now, that's a problem because Richmond, as we know, claimed at that time that those cards were based on the actual real-life platoon stats. Henry's claim is that Richmond had the splits for the 1971 season, but not for any of the subsequent seasons until the stats became widely studied in the early 1980s. The claim is that Stratomatic had to insinuate splits based on the box scores that they heavily studied. All right, does any of this really matter? Of course, in the grand scheme of things, probably not. And even when it comes to the world of baseball sims, I mean, it's kind of a trivial historical point. Now, Strat's current product, from everything I know, is accurate, and the same is true for APA. And so what we're talking about is all a bunch of stuff in the past. But then again, it is something that's interesting to keep in mind, especially if you're a potential collector and you're feeling tempted to plunk down a couple hundred dollars on one of those original Stratomatic sets. You might be better off going for the newer super advanced versions, which don't have these mistakes. Anyway, please let me know in the comments if you know more about this controversy or these sets, how they were calculated and all that stuff. I really would like to learn more myself.